Hello, good evening, and welcome to the stream. Yes, indeed. I am just social mediaing in the background. Don't mind me. <laughs> he says. Yes, indeed. One social media. Okay, a couple more to do, and then then we can get going. Yeah, sound fair? Sounds fair to me. Hey, there's one. And we're going to do another. Yes, we are. Come in. There we go. Fastleaf County subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for 25 months. My God. Thank you very, very much. Why have I got no... You can. You guys can hear me, but there's no... Game sound. Hang on. Test. Test widgets. Ah. Subscription notifications not working on starting soon screen. That's no good. Have to fix that. Right. Social mediaing is done. Let's get into game. Why don't we? My God. Mathematica, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I'm logging in. I'm just going to double check sound settings haven't moved. Matt, welcome to the stream. Okay, so... 248. 2448, recording, advance, 2448, okay, that's all honky-dory, as it should be, let's just check, properties here, yep, everything is alright on sound settings as well, okay, well never mind, let's log in that little engineer. Chat was cleared by a moderator, prevented by Better TTV. Cleared chat for non moderators viewing this room. Chat enable one month follower only mode for this room. Savic enable followers only mode for this room. Savic disabled slow mode for this room. Savic? Savic? What are you doing, Savic? Savic! <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How the devil are you? And it's only capturing. Yeah, game capture's not working. Never mind. Okay, display capture? No. Let's go to the live screen. There we are. It has the live screen. That's working at least. Okay. Got a pop up for a new button, and it apparently does this. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Right, okay, so we got some symbionts in last time, I believe. Yes, we did. We can turn that off for now. And today, yes, is my... Do you want to see my birthday present? I'm sure you do. Wait there. I'll show you all. Right, bear with me, bear with me. You'll see that. That's better. There we go. Thank you for the resub, Fastleaf. Much appreciated. So you didn't get a bling on the screen. I don't know. It's supposed to do it all the time, but hey, there we are. Happy birthday, Carl, and good evening, all. Good evening, all. Right, so let's see. Um, 
Oh, I need to capitalize the first letter. Reset. Right, so I had no entries anyway. There we go. The giveaway is now running for an in-game grace. There we are. So if you want to win an in-game grace, then be typing. Loot please. Hashtag loot please. There we go. We got Matt and Faradotti entered. Good luck, both of you. So we had the trimmer, we had some other bits. Let's. Evan Weeks, happy birthday, mate. Thank you. Thank you very much. So we were doing some Elysium quests yesterday. I think we can carry on with some of those, but let's get some dailies done first. Mathematica with a loot, please. We got the slow jazz. Nutter. <laughs> Where can you offer me an elite assignment? Uh, Cryptovum. No, it's layout's too confusing. I want Foreman's office, nice and simple. Right by there. I get the alien daily, they go check on the arbiter. I think that's still up. Or is it now? Mission complete. Oh, wait, I've got the freelancers ink already running. Oh, I didn't hand it in. I'm a doof. I am a doll. I am a doofus. Never mind. Happy birthday. Thank you, Savik. Thank you, Evan Weeks, and thank you, Nutter. Much appreciated. Yes, today, my birthday, so as, as per usual, it's for Christmas and your birthday time. Now, I did say at the end of the stream yesterday, we were going to attempt, going to attempt, um, getting a Slayer on the go before the end of this stream. We're a little ways off yet. Yes, we are. I think a few more levels may help. Yeah, need to, another level, max those two out, and then other stuff as well. Thanks for the Trox crack alphas, it's going to help a lot. Uh, it's not easy, which is why the video is six hours long. Yes, believe it or not, six hours long. And we did that on a whim, the Trox crap video. Mouse, my God. There we go. Let's do a little bit of spammage. And we, we do go through every, uh, you know, we jump through all the hoops to get them in. Settled on an extermi in the end, which was better for the build anyway, but we figured out like an hour after, oh yeah, we could have done the eye, we just need a Stella Barnes buff um, and one other item and we could have done it anyway, so. Evan Weeks, you're really making me want to install the game. If I had a dollar, well, I'd have a thought for every time someone's either come back to game or said they wanted to come back to game. Uh, watching my shizzle. Well, I'd have a 40, 90 by now. At least. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Oh, dear. Yeah, is that Mouse Mouse? I think it is. Mouse McNuckle. Yeah, it is. It's Mouse. My God. Like he said, six years. Oh, the zoning speed of NVMe drives is kind of nuts. So is the frame rate. Check this out. New engine. Looking at the boxes. 60 FPS. 
in NICC where frame rates go to die. They don't anymore. Well, they drop, but yeah. And then the tile directly behind this bench looking at the smokestacks. 55, 56. It does, for some reason, that actually helps, but hey. Yeah, well worth it. If you board supports it, it's worth getting, Sav. I mean, they're not expensive anymore. And that clone software I got, dead easy. Set it going, reboot, go off and, you know, make something for dinner, come back and it's done. It took 10 minutes on my system, but my system is, you know, redonkulous now. Oh yeah, I've already got freelancers running, haven't I? So I need to do a regular daily crash like fear plan. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. A max level sniper and a max level keeper was decades ago. Oh, keepers are awesome there. And agents, as ever, in PvP are just bonkers. Son speaking pretend Mandarin at me. <laughs> Seems to be his thing at the moment. <laughs> it's the latest, it's whatever the kids, it's the latest meme the kids are down with and I don't know about because I'm an old fart. Um, so yes, um, we got that daily. Oh, we could redo a couple of buffs while we're about it. Let's get let's start. So we're not dashing off mid mid stream to go and do buffs. Let, let's get some now. Uh, SFA, I don't need anymore. I don't think. I mean, I probably do, and I because I should probably put better implants in as well as the the other stuff. But but hey. Oh, the, the lobby run speed is real. Yeah, so the t-shirt says, if you couldn't read it, it's, a, it's, it's Boba Fett talking to Darth Vader. He says, neat uniform. He says, yeah, it cost me an arm and a leg. Did him. <laughs> <laughs> can I self-cast this pet? I think I can act. Kachuli. Um Inferior Warbot. Yep, can self the pet. That'll do for now. That'll do for now. Uh, I want to give myself hack and quack though, so I'll just l quickly log in my little fixer. Sav, have you entered for your grace? It's about time you won one. Been here for the beginning, been a moderator for two years. If anyone deserves one. <laughs> have I got any of the in-between ones? I've got the 2540 and then I think... Then I haven't got any others till the 125 one. There's one in between that, isn't there? NCU buff. And... Da, 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 AO items. AO items. Nanos. Fixer. Well, that tune doesn't have it. There's an AT... There's a jury rigged NCU. It's quality 100. That's probably not in a shop, is it? But that's mission reward, I'll bet you. RK Diner. Ah, there you go. That's probably why I don't have it. I saw Aiken or whatever on Discord was having some problems with his AOA. AOIA after upgrading. Did you have that too? No. But the way I upgraded, I didn't change any, any drive paths. It could be, it could be, if he did a fresh install, it could be down, it could be more to do with that than anything. Mouse McKnuckle. 
A 217MA. Uh, well, I want flecked more than I want anything else. I would almost bet you, you know, money. That's all it is. Is check his drive, check his drive pathways. They're probably different if he's done a fresh install. Um, and then, of course, he needs to make sure the 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 file itself, you know, the executable, can access the data folders because they are in the users folder. So you need to make that accessible to it. Yay for RRFE. Wait, I didn't do the NCU buff. I'm an idiot. Uh, yep. Yeah, Savic is in the draw. How uh, much NCU have I got now? 9, 8, 2, That's going to do me. Nice to see you again, Mouse. How are you? Come chat on the stream so I can speak with you. Better nano running. Oh well. Yeah, mine didn't change. If I well, I I used it last stream, didn't I? We were looking for implants and such. What did I just spot? No, you can die. No, don't want you. Surprise that was still in my inventory. There we go. That's better. I think I've got... I think I've got RRFE. I do. Yay. Enzleric subscribed at tier one. They've subscribed for 20 months. Currently on a 20 month streak. Thank you for the 20 months. Much appreciated. Weasel. Or Weaseled is now following. Thank you for the follow. Check posture for 200. Good. I'm pretty straight up and down, I think. Yeah. I think I'm. Pretty fine here. I think, I think I'm okay. Give flecked to the pet. There you go. So where was the first one? Crash site fear planters. I don't know if that's going to trigger the mission because it's a staged one, isn't it? So it's kind of like... Um the other elite daily it doesn't always trigger it damn vehicle air oh cool now i can use a yalm so let's shop menu store let's let's claim a vehicle i have many very fine oh, okay claim there you go. Basic vehicle on its way to me. Weasel, last time I was on one of your vids, you were levelling fatty. This is Mouse and Knuckle. Bloody hell. Has it been that long? I feel old. How long have I been doing this? Well, Twitch, like a couple of years, maybe, but yeah. Ah, oh, that's crazy, man. That is crazy, yeah. We were talking on the Discord, I think. You look like a rocker. Now you look like Santa. <laughs> yeah, I grew the beard, cut the hair. I know. Decided to become Santa. Oh, you just you kind of vanished into the ether. But that's, yeah, that's cool. We'll have to renew those moochums soon-ish, I think. I'll do this mission first. See if that helps. Yeah, so it was 2015, since then, quit smoking, we had the COVID, we, yeah, loads happened, didn't it? <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, I just decided I'd just let my beard grow. It was before um, all the lockdowns and that I had a beard. And I shaved it off and I let it grow back and then it got to about here, but then it keeps catching in coats and stuff, so... Got rid. Well, shaved it right back and I've let it grow again because, well, it's winter now. Ooh, might have flagged myself. Don't know. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, well. This is where I get stream ganked. <laughs> and Pet will be bouncing along the floor. Yay. Uh, yay for Pet Bounce. You know, this is a, you know, incremental stage mission, so got a bad feeling um, it might not trigger the daily. Yeah, the hair's got a lot greyer, like the beard. I got old, dude, that, you know, that's what happened, I just, I just got older, you know. <laughs> not, not a lot I can do. It's two options we're getting older. Die young or get older. It's impressive beard. Thank you, sir. I, I think it's the uh, Scandinavian heritage somewhere down the line or something. Some Viking somewhere shagged someone. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, they were kind of known for it, weren't they? I mean, I'm not being... Not not saying anything that ain't true. The pillaging of the villages and all the rest of it, yeah. Right, so on the hit list for these fear planters. Fear planters are right round the other side. Got to be careful, we're still a low be round here. There they are. Oh no, they're not. They're soul steppers. Worserer. Uh oh. Don't fall into the mobs. Falling into the mobs would be bad. Dr. Lucifer, good evening, Kalos. And all. Indeed. Welcome on in. Good to see you. Drill surgeons. Don't need them. Should have just flown right across, but with a pet, that's always problematic. You end up with 50 mobs chasing you. Happy birthday. Thank you, Mathematica. Yeah, it's feeling old now. My God. I am old now. I'm I'm the age I, I used to see people at this, this age and go, God, they're old. And share good news, we've had a baby born on the 31st. Nice! Every birthday is going to be going out for a party through their adult life, which is kind of awesome. <laughs> Everywhere's open late. <laughs> Yay! And congratulations on the baby. I'm glad it all worked out. Went well. Yeah, congratulations to you. How, how are you sleeping? Oh, mind you, it's not too bad the first couple of months. Then the teething starts. And when you don't sleep with the teething, just remember, it's only the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Happy birthday. Best day, actually. It is, really. I mean, you'll still get the, oh, it's for your Christmas and your birthday type Christmas presents, but, you know, that's not the end of the world. 
I've lived with that for a very long time. I have teenage daughters at home. Enjoy them while they're little. <laughs> Many a true word. Oh, they're still great. It's just there's special things that happen when they're that young that don't quite happen the same once they're teenagers. You tell a teenager, oh, you best go to bed or Santa won't bring you any presents and they're just like <laughs> laughing in your face by the time they're ten. So it was your birthday as well. Wife didn't agree to name him Athrox, by the way. Oh, were you going to name him Athrox? <laughs> oh, I haven't trimmed the bot. Trimming. There we go. That's a bit better. I remember this day to be Cowl's birthday. Yeah, oh, some unfortunate things happened today as well, but, uh, you know. Uh, chat config. Let's get rid of some spam. Yeah, not interested. Okay, two more fear planters. Need to find them first. I remember getting a mission where you ran into that tailpipe there. That was pretty cool. Martin Riggs, happy birthday, young man. Yeah, not that young. Um, Youngish, I think, is the best I can hope for at this point. Ah, with the new kick, mind you, we've got no nano resist yet. I put everything into getting bigger and better pets, so... Can only blame myself. And this year I'll turn 50. I'm 54 today, mate. <laughs> Is it... Am I 54? I am, yes, I'm 54. I had, to, I had to think about it. That's when you know you're getting old, where you have to think how old you are. I'm okay. It's like a high score at this point, you know. All right, last fear planter, I think. Yeah, not. Yeah, I think once you hit middle age, I used to say forty was. I hit forty, and I didn't feel middle age. I didn't look middle age, so I don't think. I don't think forty is middle aged anymore. I think fifty is these days. All right, there we go. A drill, a surgeons. to make our way through these. My sight started going around 40. Oh, did it? Yeah, it was around 50 for me. Oh, I can't quite read that. And that, yeah, I started to notice that. Close to is not as easy as it used to be. can manage it, but after an hour or so, I'm like, oh, it's easier with reading glasses. You know, so... Yeah, I used to watch videos and stuff on my phone. Now, if I'm going to try and do that and read anything, then yeah, definitely. Out come the goggles. Nothing you can do. Laser, laser surgery can't fix it. I think replacement lens surgery fixes it. But I, I wear some. I'll just wear some glasses. You're all right. What we need is to live in the um, the next gen. You know, you know, TNG universe. We go. Oh, bad eyesight. There you go. That's well. They, they they used to do replacement lenses for cataracts. So it's not um, new, but new replacement synthetic lenses is. <laughs> Cybernetic eyes. That'll that'll be the next thing. Yeah. Driving along one day and suddenly he crashed. Why did he suddenly crash? Oh, batteries went. <laughs> Somehow symbionts are creepier than implants. I know what you mean, yeah. 
They don't even look like bones and things. Yeah, implants look like mechanical limbs, you know, and we're, we're kind of we're kind of used to that concept, you know. You see people with, you know, mechanical, you know, lower half of the leg or whatever, and a living squidgy thing in your eye. Yeah, I know. Thing is, your eye is a living squidgy thing, so, <laughs> but at least it's yours. Who is that? It's Neo has followed. Thank you for the follow. Neural surgeon, come to me. Sounds like the Shadowlands is a dangerous place. The portal should be closed with starkness on the other side. Hi there, hope you're having a great day. Have a great day and happy birthday. Thank you. Skix, what's up, Sea Dog? Arr. Happy Friday, everyone. Indeed, happy Friday as well. Yeah, historically, all you know, in my ad adult life, you know. Hey, it's my birthday, you coming out for a drink? Oh no, I sort of, you know, I've just spent all that money for Christmas and went out on New Year's and I'm not quite over it and we're back in work now and, 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 and mealy mouth and nah, you're all right. That was, that's, <laughs> that, that's pretty much my, um, my experience growing up with a birthday in January. Like, I think it would be better if it was slightly end of January than where it actually is, because it's too close to New Year and all that, you know. Gamble 0007, welcome to the stream. I think I'm going to buy a cocoon here. I'm going to go for the big drill sergeant, chief drill surgeon next, because he's going to be the one hitting the hardest. Welcome to the stream, Gamble. Wait, where are you? In the pub? In the pub on the speckled hen or the old old peculiar. How's the Engi coming along? Antidote, welcome to the stream. He's coming along fine, yeah, he's, he's doing quite well. I'm progressing slowly. And there is a giveaway this evening, if the title of the stream didn't tell you. Um, yes, there is. It's hashtag loot, please. KP Alexander, ahoy, Kalos. Ahoy there. Arr. Happy birthday, Cal. 25, never look better. No, I definitely look better. <laughs> Ooh, info disc. Activate the disc. The Milky Way crash site. This disc will provide you with some basic information of the corporate wars and the scars it left on Rubicar. So if you've never seen this, it's right in the middle here, near the marker for the Chaos Beetles. There's a little info disc. Goes through, tells you what happened, why these ships are here, etc. If you've ever wondered. What do I need now? Chaos Beetles. That sounds ominously dangerous. Luvio, I would join, but I won't make it to the end of the stream. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not planning on streaming late tonight. Um, least of all, because I'm up early tomorrow for work. Um, and I want to have a drink as well, because it is my birthday, you know. What the hell? Am I going to... Where's... Where's the... Chaos Beetle... Over to the north. Aha! Oh, there's more than one. And my pet's stuck somewhere. Come on. Get in there. Whiskey in the jar. Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah, 10 o'clock cut off tonight. I won't be any later than that, so. Just because. We'll, we'll do the whole thing before then, so. Oh. 
Seems good. Whiskey in the jar. Yeah. Want to wait in a Slayer? Fun now. You're not kidding. Yeah. Weaseled. Subscribed to Tier One. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for that, Mouse. Much appreciated, sir. There we go. Right, come on. Over here, mate. We kill you now. Enter attack mode. Happy birthday. Thank you very much, sir. So I recently did a big old PC upgrade. That's the only other news, really. Um, oh, big bad. Oh, I'm going to kill him. I don't know if I can handle him. You might. Yeah, so it was longer. It was 10 years since the last one, so it's not like... Ah, pulled aggro. Come on, keep him off me. Too many levels till we get to taunt box. Yay, another level. Okay, this time though, straight into nano and casting. 730, what was the Slayer nano? 868, I'm remembering. 868, what's the OE? Seven nine four. So if we could get enough on top, we could do it. But eight six eight minus seven thirty one. Well, lowest skill at the moment. One three seven. Oh, spitting distance. HUD. I bought a new PC last month. It's 10 years old. Yeah, mine was as well. I've got, um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. It's super duper fast now, though. Uh, did I put it in there? No. Not even sure where I'd put it. Uh, probably... Yeah, there we go. So try and show you this so this was me on day one testing it so that's my old system there intel core i7 8 uh, 3820 that's my old one scoring a massive 1430 that's the new one scoring 11 1108 and in the new r23 there's even better Bloody beats thread rippers of all things. It's just bonkers. Thirty thousand. <laughs> it's just kind of what? <laughs> right, okay. Still on chaos beetles. Does this guy drop anything? Uh, nothing we actually want. Sharky, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, so it was long overdue. It wasn't actually massively expensive either. Considering the gap, you know, I was buying a brand new motherboard, CPU, RAM, because I was still on DDR3, so there was no upgrade path with that memory. Um, and a new power supply, basically. So. So I did all that. It makes a big difference to AO. It's just like 100 FPS constantly. You know, one or two places, maybe not, but other than that, it just doesn't care. It just carries on. It's got enough cores. I don't get any slowdown with the uh, streaming, really. Tiny bit, maybe, but very hard to, to spot. Right, Beba faces. That way. Yeah, so welcome to the stream, Shariki. Good to see you. I go down the hole for these. Seven <laughs> weeks. Okay, okay. I'm installing AO. It's a great game. It just is. It's not me. It's the game. I just enjoy it in front of people and things happen. Come on, 
Oh my god, why did you still play that game? Because I still like it. Some people play chess for a very long time as well. Because they like chess. You know, it's, it's pretty simple. Is there anyone who is fit in Tuna and Loom Lumia stream? I don't know. I don't know what those are, so not me, I know that. Unless they're known by a different name. Yeah, Salvo gifted me a game, but I wanted to on Steam, but I wanted to ask him about it. It looks like a platformer, which is not really my jam, so Yeah, nothing against any type of game. There's just certain games I like and don't like, so According to this, all the baby faces should be here, but there's only a couple down there. The, to control home lights over stream. Oh, right, okay. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't have that anyway. <laughs> I know you guys all too well. I'd be sat here in darkness and then blinding light in my face, uh, etc. So, yeah, that that's a no from me, dog. <laughs> Ah, oh, there's there's one, there's one. <coughs> yeah, AO is still the same awesome game. It's a better game now than it ever was in its previous incarnations, I would say. The fact that baby faces say, what's up, is just too freaky for words to me. I mean, they really are one of the freakiest things ever put into a game. My characters are gone, according to the account screen. Are you sure you activated the right account? It wasn't a mule account you had or something? And looked at the payment history. That's weird. Shouldn't be. I didn't touch mine for six years, and there they all are. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's pretty much the same for me, you know. Okay, daily done, but freelancers not triggered. Damn you. Uh, we go do Biomare. But I'm going to get a rebuff first because there's only 20 minutes left on those. So the only thing that's going to trigger my freelancers today is going to be the Doja, isn't it? Yeah, when you log in, you might have to reactivate them. There's also a thing when you log into your account on the account, the new account page uh, that tells you which one. Hosts not allowed because I use the slang for cats. What? I didn't even get an alert. What did you type? <laughs> Two posts. What, on the stream? It didn't even alert me. Normally it says allow or deny, but nothing came up. Just scrolling now. No, nothing. That's oh, that's Twitch's auto moderation. I think it's outside my control. Might be, yeah, it could be hard coded, yeah, which is well, it's unfortunate, but I I don't find it offensive. God, I grew up on you know the Carry On films. Ooh, Sid. <laughs> you know, and what about um, Naked Gun? Mmm, nice beaver. Thanks, I just had it stuffed. You know, it's, it's, it's alright, it's innuendo. It's not offensive. If you're offended by innuendo, well, I think that, that lies with you, you know. I, mean, I think you're a teenager and above, you should have the, you know, psychological fortitude to not be offended by innuendo. 
Scroll back. Not far. It was nothing. I don't know. Yeah, it didn't even... Nothing. When someone types a word and it thinks it might be dodgy, it comes up in chat saying allow or deny, you know, and it's... Can I always look at the context? And if it's in context that's not offensive, then, yeah, say what you want. Um... Kaz, welcome to the stream. Has anyone got an MP or am I bump logging again? It's a dog of dog of war with a pussy. Oh right, okay. Yeah, that's not offensive, is it? Is that offensive now? I know, it is kind of mad that, yeah. Still got the mark. Bio oh, I've not finished the mission. Damn it. <laughs> I thought I'd finished it. <laughs> I should get rebuffed now I'm here anyway. Cars, happy with you. Thank you very much. Yes, tis birthday for me. Right, I'll bump log and... Um, oh, I don't think that's the password. It's long, would it? Not that long. There we go. Right, let's get ready. We gotta be gotta go fast. Well, I should be able to do this. I think I had um NCU available. Okay, we want Space Time Matter Creation. There we go. Four hours each now. My 108 Engi crashed through him with no cats dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I could I could go farm him. We've got plenty of big tunes I could I could use to to one shot him nearly. With the NT or something. There we go, so just my general buffs to redo. Which I should have on my hotbars by now, but I have... No, I have one of those. I have some of these. Yeah. Should be doing six slot by now. I've got six slot belts, I'm okay. Just been too lazy to put them on. Which comp lit have I got now with trickle down? Yeah, basically there, aren't I? For NCU and whatnot. And I wanted... Eh, no IP left. <laughs> Never mind, I'm maxing these out. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. What level now? Level 83. Enzel Eric, I'm off to eat. See you later. Have a good stream. Thank you, Enzel Eric. Good luck with the new baby. Enjoy these times and all that. Yeah, I thought I'd completed the entire mission. There's one stage left I didn't do. Biles worm workers things, All right? We're going to fly it this time. I don't want to get flagged again. Because I'll be hanging around waiting. I did put a whole level of IP into... Um, <laughs> yeah, a whole level of IP into run speed because I was being chased by things. Don't judge me. I was going to die. Absolutely. I was down to like one HP or something, so yeah. I'm too slow, and with a pet as well. I think I'm going to put the vehicle there. Oh. Too slow. I think I need some nano in it. <laughs> Yeah, I have to keep remembering, you're on a low B, you're on a low B. Don't run through places that normally don't make any difference. 
Yeah, when you're on your 220 on the way to the prison, and you just, yeah, whatever. Just go, man, go. All right, while we while we make this glorious flight, uh, I'm going to make a cup of tea. It's about four minutes, thereabouts, to boil the kettle. If it's just boiled, even quicker. Right, I shall return. Right, there we go. I is back. Savik is cross. Because I didn't use the intermission. <laughs> right, so we had Bilesworm workers. Nutter! Good to see you. You were singing it to yourself. Ba ba boom. Ba doo da. Tinkering idiot, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. All right, so we've got five more mobs to kill to complete. Let me on. Enter attack mode. Enter attack mode. Enter attack mode. Oh yes, trim the bot. We've zoned. I was twinking yesterday and used the lovely tinkering plants again. That's a cracking little page with tools. We we should have that on um, as a command. Did you get the AOE blinds? I haven't yet. No, I'm way behind on shopping bits and bobs for this tomb, definitely. Yeah, post um, a link for it, and then either Salvo or myself will add that to the chat box.
twinking tools or something as a command, I don't know. Tinkering twinking tools. No, it's a cracking little set of tools you've added. <laughs> yeah, it shows you the required ability, so, yeah. It's a lot more advanced than, like, Anu, which, you know, God bless Anu and that it's still there for us, but... So it's kind of like some of its values aren't quite right anymore, and especially on high-quality implants. Tinkeringidiot.com has both listed. There you go. Tinkering plants, as in implants. There you go. Let's go. You go up incrementally, or can you type in? You can type in as well. Treatment and intelligence at 300. Useful stuff. And then back to build, construction, fair trade shops, shopping, settings, attribute preference. So many little things. Let's say you want agility as a preference. You know, stuff like make implants use that ugly feature in the settings tab. Cool. Agility. See, it tells you there, Intelli. We change that to pistol. Sharp objects. No, it's going to have to be the bright. And so on. We go back. Tingering nukes! More stuff here. Show 25 entries. So, Solitus, level, casting speed, nano cost. You can figure out loads of stuff for specific builds. Right, so that's gone through. Freelancers still not triggered. Damn you, freelancers. Will your Engi be a trade skill or not? Probably not. I'm thinking of doing something a little different with this one. Like Slayer Droid Transfer MA for Endgame. To fill in those fields. Oh, I see, yeah. Zoop AO! Happy birthday, wise white wolf of Rubicar. Cheers to many more years. Thank you very much. Right, okay, so I'm hoping Salvo turns up as well. <laughs> Ask him about this game he's gifted me on Steam. I'm like, what, what is this? Um, you know, in a good way. Yeah, so we're not going to trigger the freelancers until I'm guessing, well, until we get that doja done. It means going to Elysium. So if we go to Elysium, we might as well do more of the Yuto's quests. We did, did a couple of them yesterday. Not yesterday, Wednesday. KP Alexander will mail you the AOE blind in a few minutes. Just need to turn the ID into an honor. Thank you very kindly. Uh, where am I going? I'm going longest road, we hope. Let's hopefully not get flagged getting there. I ain't running the whole damn way there. I did that once. I did it on something with good run speed. <laughs> it was still like 20 minutes running there, though. I think it was the little shade before he became a big shade. Jolie Storm, happy birthday, young man. Well, thank you, Jolie. Did we get here without being flagged? Yay! Siljar Russell in the house with another funny. Let's have a look. Where's the thing? The little bird told me it was your birthday. I ate him. 
Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Volpu, welcome to the stream. There is, as well, for the newcomers, there is a Grace giveaway running. And tomorrow is the alien, so please don't ask stupid questions like, why, why isn't Funcom running the alien raids anymore? There's one tomorrow. <laughs> they are. And it's not Funcom, it's the Arcs. The longest road is still the longest road, it is. My god, it's dark in here. Right, light, command. And... River car light. <clears throat> I heard there won't be any aliens in 2023. Yeah, who the f started that rumour? And even then, we had Space Quest in chat saying, Yes, there is. What are you talking about? <laughs> Next one's on the 7th of January. Yeah, yeah, you heard wrong, my dude. Someone's trolling you there. It's kind of funny how a rumour turned into information. Yeah, exactly. There's way too much of that now. People are so prepared to believe, uh, with no critical thinking applied, whatever they're told. It's like, what? you got the person here that does the raids telling you we're having the raids. Ah, well, that's not what I heard. What? Look, you need to get past the idea that your, your opinion matters as much as someone else's. If they're more qualified than you, no, it doesn't. <laughs> That's not how it works. You know, you go to a hospital, who do you want to treat you? The doctor or the janitor? Yeah? Think about that for a second. Are they as valuable as a person? Yes, of course they are. You know. Are they, is there a medical opinion as valuable? No. <laughs> That's just nuts to me. Yeah, but House gets it wrong about 10 times before he gets it right every episode. I've seen them all, and I think it's an amazing show, but he does get it wrong a lot as well. Eventually, he figures it out. Otherwise, every episode would be like five minutes long, wouldn't it? Then he figures out, ah, it's the lice from a barn where they had sex or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know, does the janitor offer a um, discount? Yeah, he's like, what was the guy? Um, Dr. Nick. <laughs> you want Dr. Nick, you can have Dr. Nick, that's your right. Depends on the issue. Medical issue, not, not janitorial issue. And now we need a special birthday gift. No, we're fine. You've given way enough gifts already. We're doing a grace giveaway. For those that want to know, it's hashtag loot blizz. And if you need to know, you can sell the grace on GMI currently for about 130 billion. No, I'm not. I didn't misspeak. I meant billion. Tap the pet. Trim the pet. Tap the pet. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> the janitor moonlight says, Dr. Nick. <laughs> I heard there will be an alien event every day in every zone at once. Yes. So obviously it must be true. Instruction disk, shady acquisition. From on now. Bloaters still. Enter attack mode. Still no idea what I'm going to do with the creds when I manage to sell. Sell it for 380 billion. Yeah, this is so many credits to deal with. Because just remove the 4 billion limit on GMI it's just, it doesn't stop anything all it does is slow people down you know yeah it's a ridiculous amount now someone come dressed as a guard Oh yes, we want more nano skill. Oh, my title ca ta capped for title. Oh, we need the trickle down then. Uh. 
<laughs> Not knowing casting. MC is intelligence, stamina, and time space is intelligence, agility. Run in there. We want whatever we can in. Yeah. Oh well. Gives away bunches is the current strategy, yeah. I'm sure I saw like a superhero show where one of them's ability was I heard a rumour and it, people would believe it. I just can't remember what it was. The show, I mean. Kill it, pet. Kill it. Umbrella Academy. That's the one. Good show. Really cool show. Soda Mahoney with the bits. Happy birthday, you dirty clam bastard. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Welcome to the stream, Soto Mahoney. My favourite Omni. And Mihalik, welcome on in. I missed you coming on. I'm sure you said hi. I'm zooming in on the chat. I missed you coming on. It was ages ago. Apologies, Mihalik. Welcome on in. Mine was on the 31st. Your birthday. Oh, wow. Yeah. Were you When you were a kid, was it always... Here's your present. It's for Christmas and your birthday. That was always my thing. Yeah, I'm 38. I'm 54. <laughs> yes. You're young, pup. December twentieth, lots of merry birthdayness. Yeah, exactly. If you're if you're in the if you're like a couple of weeks either side, that's it. You for the rest of your days, Christmas and your birthday. No, my parents actually love me. Right, okay. Your parents had money. <laughs> Santa doesn't doesn't like the poor children. That's why they don't get as many presents. Yeah. Inbreeding, you know, in, in ingraining co consumer consumerism into children. Also, parties in June just so friends could come. Yeah, I, n I never had that. Wouldn't let them come in December because they didn't have a present. Yeah, that's kind of what I got. And it was always the first week back in school as well, so even more fun, you know? Happy birthday to your 18th. You don't look a minute older, apart from the white beard. <laughs> that maybe looks a bit older. I kind of hate it more as an adult, as every New Year's Eve party kind of turns into my party thing. I would have loved that. Hey, all the attention. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Yay, I went round the sun again. You know. All for it. And check the corpses and then we're going to jump through the glass. Like a stuntman. My son turned 28 on New Year's Eve. I think you said as well, because we did a New Year's Eve stream, although I didn't make it to midnight. I had wanted to, but... Right, there's the gap. Fail. Go first person. Nope. Confused all the security there. Ah, almost did it. 
What am I snagging on? Is it you, you big lump? Get out of the way. Ugh. Now the camera's gone complete Muppet mode. Yay, finally. See, size of him and he made it. Yeah. <clears throat> Mrs. Mah Mahoney's birthday is 1st of Jan. It's always Happy New Year. Bring out the cake. Oh, yeah. Got a friend that had their birthday 1st of January. Up to 14, he thought everybody was sending fireworks for him. <laughs> Never heard the word New Year before. All right, okay. One of my kids is July 14th. Uh, July 4th, whole country celebrated with blowing stuff up. Yep, pretty much. It is the tradition, isn't it? Blow some shit up. Hysteria, my cake this year was parsnip maple syrup. Ah, that sounds very Canadian. <laughs> sounds quite nice, actually. We, get, we try and get maple syrup here, but this Mrs. Carlos too has got more of a sweet tooth than me, so. Because when people say maple, I'm like, that's what these guitar necks are made out of, so. A fine timber. I'm not sure I want to eat the sap. Yeah, I didn't get a cake. I got this t-shirt. I'll show it to everyone again now. There's a few more of us here than there was at the beginning of the stream. Bear with me. There you go. True, but this outfit cost me an arm and a leg. <laughs> That's from Mrs. Callos too. Happy birthday, dear. I got you another T-shirt. Oh, thank you very much, dear. May 5th is the Danish celebration for being liberated from the Germans. So all our flags are out. My friend, which birthday is the 5th? Long time as a kid, they thought they were all out for him. His mum told him. <laughs> yeah, but your kids tell you. Your parents tell you little fibs like that, don't they? Yeah. You see, it's humorous, and I can wear it on stream without upsetting anyone. Although, no, I've said that. There's some diehard Star Wars fan. How can you take the Lord Dark, <laughs> the Dark Lord's name in vain? It's just a t-shirt about a guy in a suit. Come on. I might watch Empire tonight. Dad TV, you know. Have a couple of beers, watch Empire Strikes Back. Excuse me. Need to get off to bed before midnight, really, because, you know, I'm up at six, so. I seem to need about six hours and I'm good. God bless. Thank you, Jolie Storm. Enter attack mode. It feels like these got a bit of a nerf, you know. I seem to remember them hitting a lot harder than they, they do. I think they hit hard for the level. Some mobs do, don't they? Like those, you know, like out in Varmint Woods, if you do the Corporal Ashley Winstead quest, there's some there. Just ran my kids through episodes one. Three, six. Tears at the end of episode three. Anakin was their favourite character. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it didn't. It didn't happen that way for me. Because of course, the first one I saw was what is now number four, but it was number one, and there was no number on the bloody titles. I know. I remember. It's ingrained in my brain going to the cinema to see that. 
So uh, whatever British potato with it version we had, it didn't have that. It just had the scroll. It is a time of uh, civil war. Blah, blah. You know. I remember being shocked about the reveal in Empire. And playing in the woods, being Luke Skywalker, training with Yoda. Just take the dog with me. And a bamboo stick with some tape wrapped around it, you know? At one end, bit of a hilt. And play Star Wars. Remember it? I saw it in 1977. Aged eight years old in the cinema. Saw it way back when. When it was a new thing and the whole world seemed to have gone Star Wars mad from my eight-year-old perspective. Every kid's TV or whatever was all about Star Wars. They kept copying bits and characters from it and it was like hype, hype, hype. Before special edition, yes. There was no debate about who who shot first with Han, because there was only ever one shot fired, and it was Han, directly under the table when he was cornered. He knew his number was up, so he just went for it. Greedo never shoots in the original. I've got it on VHS. Greedo never gets a shot. He's got a gun on Han, but he never fires a shot. But he's got him and he's going to shoot him and take him in, dead. So Han goes, oh, gets him to look away for a moment, unhooks the pistol, shoots him under the table. That's it, that's the scene, that's your introduction to Han Solo. He's a bit of a, you know, um, he's like one of Clint Eastwood's characters when he was making this, you know, the really good spaghetti westerns. There's only ever one shot fired originally, and Han was the person that shot it. End of discussion. <laughs> That's it. There is nothing else. There's no who shot first and last. Han, because it was the only shot fired. <laughs> no, there just there just wasn't anything else, you know. It didn't say episode four at the top of the screen. That got added in later. I don't care what George Lucas says in interviews. Oh, it was one episode of a much bigger thing I'd written. No, it wasn't. You're lying. You're fibbing, George. So, Rubicar, Rubicar 19. Uh, Rubicar. The main server. I'm just going to mute my mic while I blow my nose and spare you the horrible sound. There we go, and you didn't have to hear it. What, no, Carl Hunk? It does not sound... Someone blowing the nose is a horrible sound. Yeah, the prequels came along, and I and a lot of other people apparently had the same experience. You've got to remember, the, the first one of the prequels came out at the same time as The Matrix. So we said, oh, we'll watch them this weekend. You know, we'll go to the cinema and watch them. Except, we went, oh, we better watch Star Wars second, otherwise the Matrix will seem rubbish. Bear in mind, we, no one had seen the Matrix yet. Uh, so, I mean, I could blitz these, but I'm not going to. It's all the Jar Jar is a Sith Lord video today. He doesn't exist in, in fandom. Uh, he's been edited out so much, poor guy doesn't exist. Yeah, so we went to see The Matrix first, came out like, wow, wow, that was something. I'm getting that when it comes out on, you know, DVD or VHS or whatever. Um, and really enjoyed it. 
And then the next weekend we went, right, now we'll go and see Star Wars, you know. And, oh, God. <laughs> what is this, you know? It wasn't, I don't hate it, but the first one, I think the Phantom Edit, which takes the first three prequels and just turns them into the story of how Darth Vader came to be in one movie. Um, it just it just does such a better job. And Jar Jar's not in it. The edit is... like there's, I think there's like four minutes of the first movie in the entire thing. So the pod racing, all that, it's all gone. It's a fan, it's called the Phantom Edit or something, I think. You can download it, but, you know, it used to be on YouTube. You could just watch it, but of course, you know, that was before the dark days. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, Return of the Jedi was like, oh, it's got Ewoks in it. And while I appreciated they were like teddy bears, and, you know, teddy bears are cool. It was also like, it's got teddy bears in it. The last one had people getting hands cut, main characters getting their hands cut off, and... You know, disaster befalling our heroes, and and now now and now we've got teddy bears. What's going? What? <laughs> you know, taking on stormtroopers as well. I think the original writing was they weren't Ewoks; they were Wookies. It was all happening on the Wookie homeworld in the original, because I've got a lot of um, books and, and whatnot about Star Wars, and I'm sure it was originally written, it was going to be the Wookiee homeworld or a rookie, a, a Wookiee colony on, on a forested planet, and they couldn't budget for it, even with all the money they had they couldn't budget for it and of course the studio said, well, you know one Wookiee is, is cool but how about you know how about these guys, you know, and they, they pitch that and, yeah. It, it, it's good in a way because thanks to that we got, you know, Warwick Davis became a star, so. Wicket was going to be played by Ronnie Baker, who was also playing R2-D2 in a lot of the scenes. It was going to be him or another one of the cast of, of limited height. Um, but they were ill that day and couldn't face a day in the suit. So they got 11-year-old Warwick Davis to do it, and, you know, what a blessing that was. Because he's bloody awesome. If he, hadn't become, if he hadn't have done that, we wouldn't have got Willow. Wouldn't have been as good. And I mean the original Willow. I quite like the, the TV series one. It's all right. People go, oh, <laughs> it's fine. It's a bloody show about magic and monsters. And, you know, I don't take it particularly. It's not. A <laughs> I just enjoy it for what it is. It's fine. Right. Time to blitz. Years ago, a friend of mine referred to the prequels as the story of Obi-Wan, and that whole idea made <laughs> more fun for me. It is the story of Darth Vader and Obi-Wan, I suppose. They're the main characters in it. I know, you know, Padme and all that, but it's more the, the, the story of how those characters came to be the people they are when we get to Star Wars. But the, um... No, oh well. The Obi-Wan thing was good. If it was shot and felt just like the prequels did, for, for my money. Um, which is fine, you know, could accept that. And Ewan McGregor makes a really good Obi-Wan, you know. And you see that everything that happened, the, the carnage, you know, the murder of the young Jedi, you know, initiates and stuff, younglings or whatever they call them, you know, he felt it through the Force. It weakened his bond with the Force. He's not the Jedi he used to be. 
You know, he's been through shit. <laughs> he's seen stuff, you know. So neither of them are the same anymore. You know, so it was good, sure. Andor is like, if you liked Rogue One, you'll love Andor, basically. It's, it's like Rogue One 2 with a new cast of people. But like, it's Rogue, it's Rogue One after um, Empire Strikes Back, basically. But set before the original Star Wars. It was like, it's seven, nine, I walked out on, in the middle of eight and didn't bother going back. So I won't even download it and watch it. I just thought it was a load of shit. <laughs> We're just going to completely change all these characters with no explanation for it. Andor was brilliantly written and it was very well played, very well cast. And the, you know, the... The kind of main guy in it, I suppose. Not the main guy, but like the main beginnings of the, the rebels. He's he's mixed. He's not purely good and holier than thou at all. He's quite. He's got a very dark, ruthless side to him as well. So he was a much more interesting character because of that. And so is Andor. You know the name of the thing. Cassian is great. Yeah, really good. You know, chaotic good type of guy. Like he will sacrifice people for the greater good. You know, he's he's quite ruthless. Doing something dailies. Yes, we're doing the dailies. Mrs. Kalos too is here. All right, well, you're in here. I'm going to go off elsewhere. You and your slayer. <laughs> Not going to try. Yango Luna, good actor. Yeah, um, I don't want to spoil it for anyone. Oh, they're all yours, are they? They're all yours. Yeah, Diego's good in it. Um, it's kind of a mini spoiler, but Andy Circus is in it as well, but playing a human being. Um, he's fantastic in it as well. Stalin Scar Skarsgård's character. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good. Yes, Mrs. Kalos 2 is in the chat. There she is, Lubienti. Okay, we're done here, but we still haven't completed the freelancers. We must go to the Shadowlands. Yeah, Andor is, is well, well worth watching. Well worth watching. It's a slow burn as well. Like three, it'd be like episode three, be going, oh, now things are happening, you know? Yeah, everyone likes the T-shirt. <laughs> He's in Narcos. Oh, right, okay. I thought The Mandalorian was excellent as well. I thought uh, The Book of Boba Fett was uh, was good, but it wasn't as good as Mando. Mando was better. Um, so I don't know why, it just was. Um, but Boba Fett's still good. But it's it's got more of the rogue squadron sort of vibe. Mando just looked amazing. It looked like everything was done on location. I, I, I've watched the how they did it with... Um, Unreal Engine in the background on monitors that um, and the, the way it's done is when the camera moves where the actor is or whatever the parallax of what's on screen changes as well hey it's me yesterday <laughs> five bazillion mobs chasing me He's the definition of one man's freedom fighter, another man's... Yeah, exactly. And that that's so much more... Uh, that's a so much, much more meatier character. 
you know, and he really brought that to it. He really did. You know, we went from the, oh, if you're if you're one of the good guys, you're completely good, to well, you know, it depends on your point of view and all that. They're still looking for you, yeah, probably, but I can outrun them now, <laughs> which is good. Yeah, so he he was he was excellent as and an important character in it as well. Um, yeah, I mean the whole cast, everyone in it is good. You know, and there's some of the Rogue Squadron cast uh, show up as well, playing the same characters, and, and they're excellent. And it's like still before episode, you know, the original Star Wars, the first movie. Now we're on the other side of Elysium. Chase me here. Yeah, Gorgo eating the other egg. Yeah, it's got a bucket of her eggs as like their kids, and he's sat there going nom nom nom. <laughs> it was like, well, that's what's gonna happen. The, the you know he's cute and all, but he eats live food. <laughs> it's got no problem with it. Oh dear. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. The jerk has been reached enlightenment. Congratulations on 220. Mixed good and bad. Yeah, just not written as though he's, he's some perfect thing. It's the same with the Mandalorian, isn't it? He's, he's very steadfast in his, his um, kind of you know, the way he does things and stuff. But then he meets other Mandalorians who are quite different and, you know, he, he wonders about, you know, his, you know, absolute view, you know, he questions it. You know, so the whole thing is just really well written. Well written, good cast of people who can act those roles convincingly, you know. Yeah, Mand Mandalorian was just really good. It felt more like the original Star Wars as well. It had this kind of almost small in the moment about all the scenes, you know, rather than the prequels are much more, oh, look, lots of ships and everything's blowing up and, you know, more Marvel kind of thing before Marvel existed, you know. I mean, all kind of hero science fiction films now end up with all the heroes meet up to get the big shiny thing in the sky. They all seem to do it one way or another, and it's been like that since Independence Day. In fact, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Independence Day having that wasn't original either, but hey, you know, it works. feel bad for the fans. EA got a 10-year license to give out Marvel games. Oh, well, they're all going to be grossly over-monetized garbage, but hey, what are you going to do? EA are what they are. They're one of the most predatory casinos known on Earth, you know. Why the end of season one in Game of Thrones is good. <laughs> uh, the Jedi Fallen Order games are pretty good, but they're single player story games. So yeah, they're good at being single player story games. That's what they do. Um, but most of the other games EA make, they're all about generating extra revenue above the cost of the game. Oh, you want nice gear in the game? Get your wallet out. <laughs> and start gambling for it. I should have mentioned earlier, your blind nano is in the mail. Oh, I saw the notification and then promptly ignored it like a numpty. I am not a smirt. Yeah, I played the Jedi... Um, Jedi Fallen Order. That's a good game. It was free with um, Prime. You had to make an EA account, unfortunately. 
Or was it on Epic? I can't remember now. But yeah, good game. Good game. Fun to play, you know, but it... it you know, it, it's... I played it for the characters and the story. It was all mocap and face acting and... Yeah, it's good stuff. Fun to play the game. Yeah, EA are just a rotten predatory company through and through. I don't think they can ever change it now. As long as they exist, they're always going to be like that, you know. I mean, they make so many millions out of um, gambling in their games that, you know, the government's had to step in and stop it. You, you can't have miners gambling. Oh, it's, no, it's surprise mechanics. You know, another lame-ass argument that wouldn't win an argument in a bar, you know. And they tried to prop them up at hearings and stuff, and, yeah, and they laughed in their faces at them. Data stream! Ayo, still alive. Thank you very much. It is. And happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you for your birthday wishes. Much appreciated. I've seen the trailer Fallen Order 2 and Night Sister Waifu wasn't in it. I don't get Night... <laughs> Night Sister Waifu. She's not his waifu. She just... And other, yeah, she didn't feature much beyond when you meet her on that one planet. Um... And then she joins in and gets on the ship. And then that's kind of it, really. She's got very little to say beyond that point. And was like, you could have done more with this character. Yes, and Data Stream is the person that gave us all the best emote for free. Because they're awesome. So there you go. Night Sister Waifu. The actor playing her is quite cute. I don't know about the character in the game. I suppose, maybe. Hey, you know, whatever floats your boat, that's what I say. Night Sister Waifu. You demean her character so so much. Enter attack mode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just wait till it's free on Prime or on on Super Offer. Like I bought Red Dead Redemption uh, last week. I've I've barely played it yet. I just wanted to see how it ran first. It runs really well on this system. I have a thing for blue or bluish girls, like the Asari from M.E. Oh, okay. You're a big fan of Avatar, then. <laughs> Happy New Year, going AFK from the stream to watch the other stream of an Ewok playing Amstrad PCPC. <laughs> Yeah, I've got Elden Ring, been busy with that. Yeah, apparently that's quite a good gag. Avatar is trash. I like Avatar. I enjoyed the first movie a lot. It's a story we've re we've heard before, but yeah. I enjoyed it. I thought it was well played. It was fun. It was new. You know? Uh, do you use the new... Old client and new? I use both, but the what you're looking at now is the new client. That's why it has actual grass. Humans did nothing wrong. Should have nuked it from orbit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we don't want the named Preds. They don't drop doges. Liara is the only pick. What? <laughs> Avatar, Fern Gully. Yeah, Fern. It's it's a, it's an older tale than Fern Gully. Fun story, great visuals. No pretending it's new. Well, no, because it's something that mankind's done way, way too many times, you know. Oh, the indigenous pe pe uh, peoples are not not as technically advanced as we are. Okay, let's just exploit them, put them on reservations, you know. 
take everything that they're stood on that, that's been there for, you know, thousands of years. RTX Remix. Yeah, I've played the, the Portal Remix they did. That's not bad, actually. A lot of people going, oh, it runs like trash. Well, you're trying to run it on maximum on your 30 series. Yeah, of course it does. There's a guide on the main page that says these settings for your card type, you know. And then it runs perfectly fine and still looks amaze balls. Plays well as well. Have you not played Mass Effect? I played most of Mass Effect 2, but never finished it. <laughs> oh, remains of Doja. Not good enough. Yeah, I'm, uh, myself and Starkness are really curious about... Um, uh, yeah, I've got it. I own the the remaster. It was that was free on Prime as well at one point for one, two, and three. And I think I'd rather do that is play one, two, and three if I'm going to play it. Not that I did that with Witcher. I just went straight to Witcher three and played that. Then went back and played the other game. Time to stream ME. No, because I'll be probably really bad at it and have to play it on like weak source difficulty. And I hate, like, I don't like pet classes especially, but having to micromanage teammates in the game is like, rah, 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 rah. it's a good story, and you know, and all of that. Uh, blood and wine. Oh, yeah. Gobsmacking. Yeah, you can play The Witcher 3, right? And do blood and wine as soon as you rescue um, the minstrel guy. Forgot his name just now. Throw a coin to your witch. Yeah, you re rescue Dandelion. As soon as you rescue Dandelion, it unlocks um, Blood and Wine, and you can go there straight away. But you will get your ass handed to you if you're under level 20 or. Yeah, you know, last Witcher playthrough I did, I did. Um, yeah, I can't remember. I didn't go to the Baron, left the Baron for ages. I did the Skellige quest before going to the Baron. Um, so I did Velen a bit, did some bounties in Velen, got some levels and stuff, uh, and then unlocked <clears throat> the uh, Rune Master for the Hearts of Stone DLC, so I could have really good weapons. Then went to Skellige, did all the quests in Skellige, then came back, did the Baron quest. Then went back to Skellige, finished the game. <laughs> Enter attack mode. Nip to... Started Blood and Wine at, like, level 18. Got my arse handed to me by the bandits at the beginning of it, before you actually head there. Decided maybe this isn't a good idea, but, like, struggled through it, got there, and then you get that first fight. I don't want to spoil it for anyone, but there's a fight you know, minutes after you arrive that I don't think you can avoid. Um, but the other knights kind of handled it. And then I was trying to get the Excalibur-type sword because it's, like, an amazing sword. I couldn't, I couldn't complete it, so I just went back and finished the main quest. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know how much better... Once you get Whirl and stuff like that, then taking on multiple um, NPCs is a damn sight e e easier. But I wanted to unlock, you know, um, Dr. Munro stuff and have a much better setup, but... I demand an ME series playthrough now. I might record one if I can find the time to record and edit it. Thing is, I don't think anyone would watch it, to be honest. This guy's taking some taking down, isn't he? 
I did trim the bot when I got here, didn't I? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I thought Mass Effect was was good. I was just like, it just, I got a bit frustrated with having to control your, comp you know, your companions and stuff. But I can, say, you know, I'll probably get through it if I focus on that and not much else. But I don't really, I mean, like, I can put it on YouTube, I guess. I mean, editing now is so fast. It's just if I can find the time. I mean, you know, I'm working as well as everything else now, so. Yeah, maybe I could. I don't know, it'd probably be very unpopular though, you know, in terms of like maybe 50 people would watch it all the way through. <laughs> you know, so just my view count would just go boom. And the channel, you know, that's where YouTube is. If you, if you have a channel that's about a particular game, they try and sort of pigeonhole you in that and they don't want you doing anything different. Like I did an entire Skyrim playthrough. I think I did just about every quest and mission and side quest and all the DLCs, a bunch of um, added mods and stuff, you know, quest mods like False Scar and Helgen Reborn, did all those. The whole thing is, you know, good, good few hundred hours. I mean, got hardly any views though. But once I started it, I was kind of on a mission to finish it, you know. And you know, Skyrim is a proper open world game, which is more, more my jam, you know. We're not having a lot of luck with bloody doges, are we? Don't know how many Preds we've killed, but there's quite a few. We're about 10 minutes last time. I think we're way over that now, aren't we? Demand an ME series. Yeah, but that's like... You're going to need minimum like 50 episodes for the first game and then another 50, for the 50, 60 at least for the second game. And that's if you skip a lot of side content. And you need to do the side content to do well at the main quest kind of thing. I was thinking of doing one for Red Dead Redemption. Now I've got a machine that can actually run that game. Um, but I find the mechanics quite clunky somehow. I think it's, it's more about me than it is about the game. I know it's a port from console or whatever with better visuals, but even so. I mean, when, I, when I did the Skyrim playthrough, it was like right after second you know special edition coming out second edition special edition came out um and it just ran so much better but i kept you know i had a two gigabyte um geforce 6 680 so it could run the game okay but it just kept running out of memory you know with any any kind of texture mods and that kind of thing it was just out of um, video memory so quickly and then someone incredibly kindly donated a 980 and suddenly, you know, with that four gig card, I could, you know, I could run it well. It was so much more stable as well. Zach, etc. Subscribe with Prime. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> much appreciated. Yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe. I don't know about streaming it. People kind of expect, you know, AO on the days I stream, so... If I streamed more, maybe. But I already... I work Tuesday night, stream Wednesday, work Thursday night, stream Friday, work Saturday morning, stream um, Saturday night. You know, so... Trying to fit it all in, really. God damn, give me a doja, you lot. Now, how many I've killed now? It's getting getting ridiculous, I tell you. 
All this just to complete the freelancer's ink as well. Uh, for XP, I'd have been a lot quicker just going and... Yeah, no doja for you. I'd have been a lot quicker just doing, like, um... Just jumping straight into the other Elysium quests, you know. A lot more XP f per hour from them than getting a doja at this rate. I'm not saying this because you not enjoy AO, but I always tell folks they're not going to stream what they think is fun. Yeah, not what we want. Well, there's a bit of give and take there, but yeah. I can't pretend I'm liking something if I'm not. I'm not very good at that. Um, I'm no actor, you know, so... If I'm not having fun with something, you kind of, you can tell. Like, I didn't have, I didn't enjoy playing MP. And you can, if you watch the Let's Build series, you can tell. You know, the, the, the joy of the game isn't there as much as it is in the others. And I don't know why MP particularly, but just maybe because it was Nano Mage and I just don't like Nano Mage. I know some people swear by Nano Mage, but I don't like Nano Mage. The other, the other breeds, Solitus, Oppie, and Atrox, love them all. Can make all of them work. Level 87. Careful, the NFL is going to come after you. The NFL? National Football League. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nano Mage Liberation Fund. Oh, do you remember that guild? Are they still going? Have they got, like, does the guild still exist? I remember them, though, yeah. Nano Mage Liberation Front. Enter, attack, enter, attack mode. There was a lot more kind of role-play type guilds in the game early on than there are now. I think they just found other games to play, you know, other platforms to use to role-play with. It's kind of a shame, but... Yes, because Omni put them in jail. <laughs> yeah. Possibly, yeah. Uh... Come on, Doja now! Oh, I got a little. I got one of the named ones. I could have done the the quest for them by now. Doja! Dun dun dun! Yeet! <laughs> cool. Nave Zero is raiding with a party of 13. Thank you for the raid, Nave. <laughs> Much appreciated. Welcome on in, raiders. We shall do. A shout out for Nave Zero. There we go. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in, raiders. Some of you know me already. Happy birthday. Thank you. MCM straight in. With loot, please. <laughs> yeah. Yes, there is a grace giveaway. It's an in-game grace, so you will need an active paid account in order to receive the prize. So, yes, go give Nave a follow. Top of the chat there, if you're not following already. It's the birthday stream, and we're doing the giveaways. So hopefully handing this doge in will complete the freelancer's ink and then more levels. Forgot to check your mail again. 
I joined deal is if I win we'll re-raffle and give away plus one there you go that's that's Volpu who donated them to begin with George Glass thank you sir welcome on in yes join in get your get your loot please up on screen because it is a thing so yeah in-game grace is the one you see on GMI so if you do win, you do need to be capable of putting in a buy order for a small amount for me to sell you a grace. And then you do with the grace whatever you want. You can sell it on GMI for billions, hundreds of billions, and spend the money in game. Or you could just cash it in and use it for game time. It's entirely up to you. Kaz and I friends. Yes, Kaz has been lucky. Kaz has won twice. So, yeah. RNG. <laughs> yes, Gamel is here. Well, he's here, but he's on his mobile or laptop, so we think he's in the pub. He's in the pub, drinking some old peculiar or similar. Right, we hand this in, get XP, then we hand in the freelancers in, can get more XP in the pub. Nice. Yeah, we're having kind of a week off from the pub because uh, Mrs. Carlos, too, is on holiday. Yeah, spent the first five days of the holiday enjoying a really heavy cold. AO making us all drink after. I tell you, I, I always fancy a drink at the end of a shift some days. You get so many tales of woe, you're like, I just want a drink. <laughs> just chill out, have a couple of drinks, call it a night. But, you know, that's part of the work, so. Have to shake it off. Can't take it home with you. Unhealthy to do so. Yeah, the dog has a new toy. I don't know if you guys can hear it over the mic, but yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's one of the cheap, you know, like it looks like a snake or something. Uh, with, they just throw it and they catch it and play with it, you know. But it's got the little squeaker things in it. So when they're chewing on it, you know, <laughs> Or it could be number one son doing that as well. Doja! Bling! Goodbye! And that should have triggered freelancers. It did. Freelancers complete. Let's go hand that in. Chicken and chorito pizza tonight. Sounds nice. Back from the pub. Nice feed. Chill out in front of the telly for a bit. Yeah. That's a good Friday night, that. Dog toys, a three-legged crocodile. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he bit one of the legs off already. But listening to it, I'm pretty sure that's number one son that's squeaking it and not the dog. It's too regular. You know, and the dog's like got it on the floor going... It's kind of random when it squeaks, but when it's going... That's him doing that, I think. All right, zoning into ICC from Job on MVME. Yeah. Not slow. Uh, frame rates here. Looking at the crates, 50. There's a new engine as well, don't forget. My famous line, ICC, where frame rates go to die. And then here, looking at the smokestacks, 44, 50. Not bad. Streaming as well, so... That's using up some uh, CPU cycles for sure. Check frame rates for the mailbox. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, the mailbox. Get the um, flag yourself nano. <laughs> I was almost permanently flagging myself with that. Bling, and another one. ICZ Commandine. There we go. Did we get a token? No, never mind. What are you giving me here? I'm getting a backpack of win from Vulpu. 
with stuffs. Oh, I've got the um, face one. El Morando. Red suit with trousers and sealed executive carnation pink suit with trousers. Or maybe put that on the art eh? <laughs> Backpack is n not empty, just not be deleted. You want to use this item? Yes. Oof. That has a new vehicle. Let's go see new vehicle. Really expensive backpack. You're not kidding. 1,000 in run speed on car. Yeah. Have we go. So currently our run speed is 452. It's pretty low. Yay! <laughs> and now is 1,450-something. Can also equip the arm in Shadowlands, can you? Won't fly though, will it? <laughs> it is a very cool vehicle. Right, where are we at on the nano skills now? Oh, we were level locked, weren't we? Yeah, so... Agility, intelligence and stamina for those two. Which puts us at... 760 and 743, so... Calc 868, and it's... Lowest one, 743. 125. I want a wangle. <laughs> yes, I do. So I need to jump out of the vehicle so I can get into the Wumper. Go for the Slayer Droid of Win. We should be out of OE as well, I think. That's 700. Scanning area. Yeah, 694. So, yeah, we're safely out of OE with it as well. 1,000 run speed, yeah. Antidote, I can throw you on. Very good, sir. Do I need NCU by any chance? Probably do. Need 58. We're not there, so... Get rid of that. 162, 27. And poof. Naughty list is all grown up and level 198. <laughs> hey, nice. <laughs> Thank you all. Oh, yeah. Poof. One more level. Actually, before we go in, cancel the wrangle. Follow him out. Yep. Okay, he's working. Uh, we need to check the mail. And... Yeah. Three Psycho Mod and Matter Met. Matter Met's not going to be too hard. Psycho mod. Oh, no. Matamet 394. Oh, yeah, we can definitely get there. 
I wish, wish that nano deactivated on zoning though. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, gone a bit far there. So 400 and then we want 345 on a dark one. I think we can do it though. We go 350. There we go. not going to use it right now because i'll just get flagged thank you very big for the blind one more level for a perk all right i think we should go to the other side of elysium and do some more of the utto's quests for half an hour yes that's the plan Also got the delivery one, which is timed out, I think. Yeah, I've got the other stuff. I've got the useless weapon, not very good sleeve, and another useless weapon there. Why am I running? I can just beacon there. I'm saved. Hopefully you don't get... You know what? I was amazed I didn't get ganked on... Um, <laughs> on my other Engi, I was nearly constantly um, getting myself flagged, running through Borealis without a care in the world, not realising. Right, I need to talk to one of the Yuttos again to get the delivery mission, and that triggers the others. And he totally ignored biome. Yeah, I think the heal needs it, and it's worth it for the... Um, the the top heal because it's a 10 percent heal so if you trim your pet for massive hp then it can tank anything because it's you're, you're healing so much of the 10 percent that it's just bonkers don't forget oh i know i've got a pioneer backpack more than one yeah 150 the original one. The tradable one. Right, I think it's you I want to talk to. I can help you. What do you need? Deliver an ancient text is one. Which is way south. Okay, goodbye. Right, and we can cast this in Shadowlands, you say. Oh, wow, we can as well. So it becomes a car in Shadowlands. That's amazing. Need to zoom out a little bit, but hey. Ah, chase me. I hope I don't lose the pet with whizzing along with this. Buff pet. Yep, you're right. I will when he re-materialises. Don't lose the pet. Don't lose the pet. Oh, God. Has lost the pet. He's not very quick. I'm going to trim the pet first, I think. Come on, naughty list. Kill it. Kill it with spiky spike hands. Don't worry, pet is okay. Don't worry, pet is okay. Damn beer texting. Yes. Maybe go a bit more slowly. I want to talk to the guy who's out on the peninsula as well, which is always a bit risky. Much as I appreciate the run speed, it's like... Pet's like, dude, where are you going? <laughs> Can I get in the car? No. You cannot. Oh yeah, I feel really slow now after that. 
I think he just got stuck. Yeah, he's keeping up. He's keeping up. He's all right. The Arete car runs, yeah, 150. It says 500. Visually, it gives you 500, but it ain't 500. I know it says 500, but it's not like um, most of Grid Space Freedom. Car also makes you feel in honeymoon again. Yeah. It's not a pickup truck. It's like, it's like a fallout car. 1950s muscle mobile. It's that purple one up there. It is really 500, because I did put that in the title for one of my videos. <laughs> and I felt bad about it, because everyone went, that is not 500. I was like, isn't it? <clears throat> it says just married. It does. And it's the only vehicle that works in Shadowlands as a car. It is oh, actually good. 500, yeah. So with this, we're at... Nearly 1,500 run speed, which ain't bad. Have some more HP, get more evade close combat. Right, the Yutta we want is always treacherous to get to. That's not slow. That's 1,500 and Mrs. Carlos 2 is here laughing at me. I want to talk to this guy first. This is slow. <laughs> right, let's get the Slayer before we lose it. Right, there we go. Yeah, getting to the guy we want now is always notoriously difficult. So, yeah, he's on this second peninsula, I think, isn't he? Right, so before you go there, wait. <laughs> we're going over the side, we're going over the Bridge of Doom. You run over this with a pet that's bouncing off the ground level and jumping back up, and guess what happens? Yes. Exactly what you expect to happen. Five bazillion hecklers go, Hello, I'm going to be your friend. I'm going to pet you very hard. Where? What should I do? He wants me to go get five petal things in a bag that doesn't help. Probably haven't got enough space. Now we've got the kniff. We've got the scribbles and not a lot of room for anything else, but we've got loads of room in bags. So let's put some of these away. Uh, let's delete the absolutely awful weapon, sleeve. Defender of Troy, or whatever it's called, the bloody hopeless weapons. Yeah, yeah, Archibald, the first place I'd try and run. Oh, it's scary time. Voracious horror, hecklers. Ooh, yay, yay, yay. Scary times. Right, now you can follow. With the area blind and the heckler, you should not fear. You speak for yourself, mate. I'm a fear in it. I need some better pet uh, buffs as well. So we go down here where the hecklers live. Go for the blind. Yeah, we'll do this one and then I think maybe... I might wait until level 100 and then just do the six slot and the Yo-O NCUs from... What do you call it? The Adonis Quest. I've got, I don't know, a dozen of them dotted around. Heartwarming to see Funcom never tuned up the noob trap weapons. Well, some of them they did. <laughs> some of them are quite good now. Um, by accident, mostly. Because they, they added other stuff. Like, 
what would have been KG Hothi and kill it. Kill it, my pretty. Only like a, like five out of 3,000 crap weapons are good now. But only good if you've got like 70% crit or something, you know? So there's still lots of really, ter truly terrible weapons to be had. Right, we got his flowers. Eating my ice cream now. Okay. The Yoto mission under the temples is easy five dings. It is, yeah, the um, catacombs one. If you get some help, yeah. My screen is broke. The pet looks unbuffed. I think the pet is unbuffed. Yep, he is. We need to give him the buffs. And the block is in. Can't give him the fleck, though. It's a uh, non Shadowlands one. People still PvP it. Yeah, they do, yeah. People make PvP twinks with incredible builds. Some for PvM, so they can, you know, level 25s that can just troll -lol 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 through an entire subway dungeon and literally kill most of everything in the temple as well. Uh, you can has that. And you can has that. I'll just give him loads of buffs. But what I don't have is some good buffs for him. Pet aggro buff for the Slayer now. Yeah, I should get it. I mean, all I've got is the um, trimmer. Pet, wait, don't you pull aggro up here doing this, my dude. I'm sure he won't. Not my problem, you picked the lost Hothian. Now they're my problem. Bio Cocoon. Remember when you could just right click all these back and now you can't? Urgh. I have to pick them up and place them. He's off. Yeah, I should get the AOE snare and whatnot, but... <laughs> right, okay, we want to go down south. The south of Elysium. So where are we going? Where's the mission? The suede shades of grey. Oh no, we want the guy on the other side, really. He's got the longer quest line. We should maybe do that. He is... Not there. Archibald is the nearest, but that's a sanctuary... Barter. Barter we want. Barter's down and around. Yeah, I want the guy on the right side. On the west side of um, thingy. Ah, 
That's the scoop if we were going to him. Butter. This is butter. <laughs> Run over there and try Tiggs with the Slayer. That could be fun. I want to maybe try one of them. Wherever the hell they are, I've forgotten. Somewhere around here. Slayer will destroy the Tigs. No, oh, not that one, he won't. Home time, have a great birthday evening with the wife, Kalos. Thank you very much, sir. I'm hoping I do. I've forgotten where Tigs are, you know. Oh, there. <laughs> Kalos more Tig. Right, pet. Trim. Go kill Tig. Tig is 101. Pet is 198. Yeah, he's going to destroy it. Jojo! Hey, Carl, and happy birthday to you. Thank you very much, dude. Maha, I kill you. Siljar Russell with a meme. I come with two subwoofers. <laughs> oh, look at them. The dog looks like I am not happy about this. <laughs> he does though. Yeah, so we should we could kill endless numbers of tigs, but heading south. South of the river. I think am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am. I want to go north. I am a numpty. Never mind. We knew this already. What the hell is my hair doing? Doing whatever it wants by the look of it. <laughs> it's got a different management to me. Usually go back to where you were and take the portal across. Yeah, I know. I should have done, maybe. But and originally I was thinking, oh, I'll go to thing. Getting lost in Shadowlands thought it was my job. Well, it is. You know, but I help out when you're busy. You know. <laughs> <laughs> like Andy on kitchen duty. <laughs> Yeah, and those that are lurking, uh, don't forget there is a grace giveaway you can enter. It's hashtag loot pliz to enter. I'm trying to remember the quest for this. You know, there's like the um, the Mortig boss or something. But I can't remember which NPC gives you that quest of whether I've maybe even out leveled that already. I'm not sure. There's some quest over there, but I can't remember which Yotto gives you that quest. I'd have to look at it on AOU maybe and figure it out. So I'm, I'm really not entirely sure. Lost Mortig wants you. Lost Mortig can whistle. It's the one with the Yotto near the tent in Ripwell. Oh, is he just outside, is he? I know I've done it once or twice, but I always forget which NPC I need. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Jim Bop Jr. has reached enlightenment. Congratulations. Yeah, that's the other end of the Archibald teleport. 
takes you from east to west very quickly. Gives you the other missions, it's a follow on. Yeah, it could be. I'm trying to remember, it's so seldom I end up doing it. You know, it's like I seem to forget it, and then by the time I remember it, I'm too high level. Like some of them you can do at 200 even, and then other quests you can only do up till 120. Oh, I le leapt before I looked. That was unwise. There's a voracious horror around here as well. There he is. You only work for me. Delivery Tinker Tower. Will you help the one who has achieved glory? Yes, I will. <laughs> Something else? We'll grab them all. He's got loads. Extermination trip to the swamps. Yeah, some of them are harder than others just because of spawn rates. Otherwise, they'd literally be trivial. Hunt for the Somphos Horn. Your target can't be attacked. Oops, running a blind. <laughs> There's something else I can help you with. I'll do the red hat mushrooms first, as it, that's a nice quick one. There's something else? No, I don't have anything else. Okay, goodbye. All right, mushrooms. One, there's a lot, there's three of these. There's the blue mushroom, the red leaves, and then this one. It gets you to do the same quest. Slightly different. Slightly different location. You deal with him, I'm just going to carry on picking mushrooms. Oh, can I not do it while I'm aggroed? Oh, you can. Ish. Yeah. Still Joe Russell again. Three and three quarters unemployed. I'm not sure I get that joke. No, nope. <laughs> that's lost on me. <laughs> Someone wanted to take part of what's in your pocket chat. Oh, I see, I see. I see, I don't know all the memes. I don't know them. So there's a meme of what's in your pocket. He wanted to show off his pocket stuff. I get you see, now it's funny. See, when you don't know what, what the, the, the thing is, you can't get the punchline if you don't know the joke. Well, you haven't heard the joke. There you go. It has the things. Yay, XP. All right, get the others done now. Which are... Hunt for this uh, some for Bruni, the long ass one that takes forever. Even the keys are taped over so you can't copy them. Yeah, because he's obviously seen that other people doing. That's what the grown ups do. He's copying, isn't he? Kind of cute. There's yeah, so the layer of mist that kind of doesn't know how to render in. Lost imp. No. Gloonies I don't need yet. I'll try and avoid them. Oh, my rafters are here as well. Okay. A 
So there's the other one. Extermination, yeah, kill spine tooths. Be some near here. I think. Usually, maybe. Yeah, I get it now, but I didn't know what the, the thing of the joke was. So there's a share what's in your pockets joke. Or trend or skimmler. Three and three quarters bless. But a baby. Aha, bony spine tooth. These can be quite fearsome actually, but not when you have a slayer to go play with them. No, 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 you're not snaring my pet and then running away. No, no, you're not a player. You don't get to do that. Yeah, I get that. So what's in your pocket challenge? Okay, that seems less harmful than some of the stupid ones we've had over the years. What was that? What's cinnamon challenge or something? What should you never do? Get in between two of these? Yes. Stand here and let you blind. Oh god, random Sonfoss as well. Yeah, that seems a less harmful um, <laughs> thing than a lot of them. Look at the gloony, all blinded with black smoke around him. Have to deal with him, I guess. Apparently these drop doges as well, so hey. Right, so we got those and then the other part of that one. Somewhere up here is Cooler Bayans, which is on the way to Tinker Tower. I wasn't messing with you. <laughs> I came, it's like that ran for miles to get to me. For some reason. Okay, that's one of the lost mobs over there, I think. Yep, ain't gonna mess with that, but I want a chain spawn mob. Remember finding the lost dog on Watcher's Ocular or something it's called? In Adonis, when we first got there, and being like, oh, just kill this thing. Wait, where did all these come from? So we killed them. Oh, there's more! <laughs> we all ran back inside. <laughs> going like, what the f is going on? He's chasing me, isn't he? You're chasing me, aren't you? Oh well, have it your way. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I tried to leave you alone, but no, you didn't want to have it. So, it is what it is. Okay, what do we got? We got... The Chasm of the Doom. Where you really lose your pet. Look at that. Who built this bridge? You got it wrong. One side got it wrong versus the other side. Can't remember the jump now. Oh well. Got something blinding me. Where is it? Yeah, hiding from me. Oh, am I growing everything with the blind? Yay! Hmm. 
What were these Sonfos over here? I don't think these are Brunies. I think they're only in the middle, aren't they? The middle area. No, there's none there. They've just got the same buildings. Never mind. Yes, we should have come to the sink. <laughs> Would have been so much quicker. So of course I didn't do it. Oh, some fast Bruni. I think they're on the. Yep. Except the pets like on holiday now. It's attacking a redeemed something. I need to kill a couple of these for the other quest. What's in your pocket challenge? Is it cooler Anna's I want or is it a different one? No, cooler Barnes, ah, they're on the other side of the bridge, that's where they are. Just wondering where that Sonfoss Bruni came from. Are there any more of them? That would save going in the middle and camping them all the time. Well, it seemed to be all on his own, didn't he? where he came from is it really smart chat AI chatbot out there should we be worried why are you so helpful what do you want in return as a language model trained by open AI I don't have wants or desires like a human does if you really want to help, you could give me the exact location of John Connor. <laughs> oh, it's got a sense of humour as well. Fantastic. I'm curious if there are any more Sonfos Brunies or that was a one-off. Lost Imp. Gloony. No, I think he was a one-off, you know. Uh, maybe we should watch Terminator tonight. Which Terminator to watch, though? I've got a box set with all of them, so hey. Trim the pet, you zoned. I trimmed the pet, because I zoned. Oh, was that it? Yeah, I got the thing. Deliver here to Tinker Tower. Be careful running here because there's stuff like him. <laughs> it might be a bit more of a challenge. And these suckers as well. Devourers of life. Oh god, there's more of them. Right, hang on. Let's kill this one. You're blinded. You has Add all off, minus 640. That's quite a big chunk. It does help with adds a lot, though. It just doesn't help with the mob you're fighting because it breaks straight away. But it stops the adds that are hitting you from doing as much. 
We've got a perk for level 90. So we can nano combat on the next level. Oh god. Oh, thank you. I'm not sure what pulled him. I think maybe the uh, thing. But we need level 100 to get taunt box. Important perk. Yes, it is. Making the exact location of John Connor. Good, you left me stunned by the bone dragon of doom. If you run round the other side, there are hecklers. So do be careful. Yeah, the first time I ran round it, I thought, oh, yeah, it's straight ahead. So I ran straight ahead, and there's a ton of hecklers, like, all over here. <laughs> and along the edge there. Like, oh, shit. Nowhere to hide. Ran and then died. Right, can we do this mission from inside the car? <laughs> I'm curious now, can we do it from the car? Got to talk to the NPC as well. Getting aggroed by everything in our Oldsmobile just married vehicle. Got to imagine you're not in a vehicle when using a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, Bio Cocoon, Beacon, GTFO. I have something to give you. There you go. And he gives us some horrible, crappy. But what? Sparkling air, mate. You have made an error. Will you help the one loved by the sun? Indeed, I will. Right. So now we've got kill. Diving for pearls. Kill, coiling, kill the thing. And shell ermites as well. I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna take the ramp. So who's the first? Diving for pearls is the coiling ermite who is... Uh, just up ahead. Hello, mate. I hate that car so much. Yeah, but it's a thousand run speed in Shadowlands, dude. Can't hate on that. I did a mistake. I was making one of those quick coffee cups and I pulled the level wrong. So now I've got a ice cold water with some taste of coffee. Okay. Coffee disasters 101. Shell Ermite. Kill it. Kill it with spiky hands of doom. Ha 
How to get that car? Um, I think it's... Is it only from the item store? Or can you get it another way? I'm not sure. Not sure. Wolpu gifted it for my birthday, so... Best ask Wolpu. The brown waste water. What? Yeah, the brown waste water. Yeah, literally. Can at least use his cooling on my CNC. I won't use this. Oh, God. Oh, that was too far away. Oh, no. The Chalermite is coming. <laughs> Chalermite's going to regret this. Bajling Silent Tain Silent Tain 88 Subscribe with Prime They've subscribed for three months Thank you very much For the resub Much appreciated And thank you Have some Bezos money Well yes Recently changed your name From something else Has a feeling Maybe you did Maybe you didn't, and I've just forgotten, like a numpty. One more shell here, mate. Okay, then. This mission does make you run all the way over the beach, up and down. Because it makes you kill them in a specific order, the named ones. KP Alexander, subscribe with Prime. They've subscribed for six months. Thank you very much. Coiling her, mate. You will die. The next on his hit list is the Bending Ermite, who is all the opposite way down. Therefore, purple car. It's just faster, all right? Don't think about how it looks. It's fast. It has a certain style to it. Near me, how it cringing in the darkness there. Yeah, but I can get down the beach in like half the time, can't I? So, you know, it's, it's kind of, yeah. Rolling around in your own personal acre. So, oh, Siljar Russell is gifting five tier one subs to the community. They've gifted 35 to the channel. Spinicchio. Happy birthday, Carlos. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, sir. So that's a gifted sub to Twisted Was Here, the Executioner, to BMC, to Evan Weeks and ITO Derry. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Much appreciated. Right, can we kill this without... Send the pet after the big one. I'm going to get knocked out of this, aren't I? <laughs> I'm sure of it. Ah, no! You broke my, my car. Yes, if you received a gifted sub, do not forget to thank the person that gifted it to you.
Right, and the final one for diving for pearls is the swirling ermite, who is also very far north. Don't blind me. A shell ermite as well. Go. Yeah, we've still got a couple of others. See how fast we go now? Go away. Meow. Pet is following. He's not following very quickly. Thing is, when you zoom out so the car's not taking up most of the screen, it doesn't feel as fast as when you're like zoomed in and down here. It's just nuts you can use this in Shadowlands, even as a land vehicle. Thank you for the happy birthdays. Much appreciated. You've got a high score of 54 now. <laughs> 25 twice and then some change, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. Sneezing at you all. Oh, I can't walk the pet while I'm in the elm, can I? Well, in the car. Yeah, real life leveling is slow, but you don't want an XP boost for it. No, you don't. I feel like he needs another trim. doesn't wiggle like the Arete one. Well, the, the Arete one is very similar to the early vehicles we had in AO. Land vehicles, they used to wiggle like that. The Kodiaks, they all do. They've all got this, this weird wobble animation. Not quite sure why, but they've always had it as well. But I remember using them and being really pleased about it and going down the longest road to get to Biomech. An, AX, an XP boost for real life leveling is called My Parents Are Rich. It's sort of, but it doesn't make you old. Having children is, is the boost. <laughs> that makes you feel older. Right, Tinker Tower quests done. Go hand in. Plus one, yeah. Come on, pet. Keep up. doesn't feel as fast does it you got to zoom right in to appreciate the speed yeah the hoverboards are only 150 so yeah getting a thousand out of this is just like way quicker hype train success level two emotes I don't know what I got there I got that <laughs> I don't know what it is but I got it I got the probe vehicle from when I first started playing. The probe. I don't remember that one. What was the probe one? I got conductor. Nice. Silver spider knuckle. Little round thing, okay. Okay, here we go. So we hand in these two. And then we go to the middle for the Brunies, which takes forever. 
done with the air mites. I, I have a pearl for you. Yay, level 92. That was two dings. We were level... Yeah, look, 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 look. Uh, I know you can't see it, it's behind there. I don't want to move the whole box. There you go. Mission reward, new level 91. New level 92. Double ding. Okay, so we've now got extermination. We can turn in as well. So just the Sonfos horn. Which is middle of Elysium for the first one. Yeah, the sink. Okay. We go to the sink then. Excuse me, I, I just m make a mockery of the entire game. <laughs> driving everywhere. The scoop. There's canyon. I usually go in the middle for them, but... The sink, okay. They're around here somewhere, are they? I saw, we saw one here, but we didn't see any more. Bit south around the edges, edges of the Somfos town. Okay. We'll give it a go. Little, like the little clusters of buildings and that sort of thing. The thing that fascinates me about rich kids, we have quite a few at work, is they have every door open to them, yeah. But usually flunk out once they make it to middle management and actually have to do anything unless they're really rich kids and they just skip middle management completely. So you're rather poor opinion of people's working at the sea levels unless they are like chief financial officer or a head of legal positions. You literally can't just fail upwards into yeah. They usually get promoted to a a level of incompetence, yeah. Sonfos Bruni! Kill it with spiky things. <laughs> Three more Sonfos Bruni. I have to find them first. In and around the water, you say. Okay. Got bony spine tooth at the moment, seems to be about that gloony. Lost imp, avoid. Gloony again. Tons of the other ones, it's always the brunies that are the hard ones to find. Gluey, gluey, gluey. Lost him. Stay lost. I haven't found you. Go away. There'll be hecklers over there. Look. I don't like two of them, but they were quite near each other, which is a bonus. Am I going too far south now? The off road vehicle. Gloonies.
North of there. Check the screenshots on Discord. Okay. All oh, right. Okay. Right, ways north then. Uh, my vehicle's got <laughs> hydraulic suspension. We. <Whee! laughs> Out in the water near the hex, yeah. I can't remember where the first ones we killed were at. Maybe out here somewhere. Gloony. Gloony, 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 gloony. You're a gluey. I think we caught the one. Oh, crap. Oh, some fast gloony. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Thought that was a heckler coming to get me. What? Never seen a car in this game. Yeah. That is... Base font classic El Morado. A fine muscle car. So I'm looking at the pictures on the Discord. There's one just on the middle. My God, I feel slow now. It didn't feel fast in the car, but when you come out of the car, the, yeah, you can uh, definitely feel the difference. Oh, rippled and rip, rippled ermite, rippled for your pleasure. Bad joke, I know. Kill with spiky bits. There we go, we got you, we got you. Hugh, Hugh, Hugh. <laughs> Bloony. Gloony. More gloonies. It's annoying you have to do them in the order it gives you them in. You can... Rooney! Okay, and then there's another one north on the little island there. Okay. Uh, Garth. Yeah, nice one, Wayne. <laughs> yeah. Wayne's world. I haven't seen that in years. Bruni! Yeah, yeah, this is better than the middle. Definitely better than the middle. Florida man. Tinkering idiot. You were correct. Slayer before 100. <laughs> yeah. I'm lightweight compared to a lot of these guys on the chat, though. Gloony, you disappoint me. I'll kill you anyway. Just, you know, share the love. Next time I ever do this quest, I'll come here and then regret that I came here. Because everyone else has done the same. I think we were just at where another one comes from. Up there. I think we were up there, weren't we? So I think maybe that's the one I got. Oh, gloony. Oh, kill it. No, 
and another gloony down there. I was hopeful then when I saw him down there. I thought, ah, sneaky one, but no. And over here somewhere. Come on. Where are the others at? some north here. I think we got that one though. Another gloony. <laughs> that one's given up. We've been over here. That looks like another gloony outpost to me. I don't see any brunies there. There was one off base though, wasn't he? He was all the way up here somewhere. We saw him on the way in. Like you. Bruni! Kill him! Comes after the brunies. Gloonies! I don't know, we've already killed all of them, but we have to do them in order. Kind of annoying. Gloony, your time has come! Share the load, that's what she said. Kill the gloonies. The brunies are always off on the roam a bit away from the buildings. Yeah, and in the middle they're always like wandering around and stuff. I kind of know the positions of the, the middle ones. They're quite easy to find, but invariably they're not on their spot because they wander around and then... That's not enough for them to finish the mission, so you've got to wait on respawns in the middle. I think we picked up that many gloonies in the middle. Attack, my precious! <clears throat> oh man, I just cast that. Right, and then finally... Grainy's there, right down by where he is. I'm thinking beacon time. Use the teleport. Yeah, gloonies are all the way back, or glueies or whatever the hell they are. We just use the teleport across, I think, is going to be the quickest. Oof. Let's go. Chase me now, spiders of doom. That almost killed me on Wednesday. So, Loxy, my bed is calling really hard. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, my dude. Thanks for stopping by. Always a pleasure to see you. Uh, I will do the hand in and then we'll do the you know, giveaway grace roll. We'll do the draw. Uh, and then we'll call it a night because it's like I said 10 o'clock and it's like 20 to 11 already. Hoggerman, raider from Nave Zero. But also friend of the stream has entered the grace giveaway <laughs> right at the edge of my 220 call out <laughs> now is it we're good it's my birthday today and we're doing the grace giveaway yay Trollhammer, happy birthday. Thank you, sir. I'm bringing technology to the Shadowlands. 
No, we want grainies, I think, and that's it. We're done. Got the east side quests completed. Gluey. I don't need you. Gluey, gluey, gluey. There's one right near him, isn't there? Grainy. Showing Shadowlands the respect it deserves by driving around it in a muscle car. I think you only have to kill one, gra yeah, one grainy. Aren't they usually up by a fire somewhere? There he is. Kill him. Kill the grainy. And trim the pet. Bio cocoon. Have a blind, everyone. Have minus 640 at all off. Oh god! <laughs> the slump fuss are revolting! I win the grace, I will give one back to you. I, I don't need one, I swear. Well, I don't know, just started a new tune, you know, maybe, maybe I need to think about it. <laughs> Which reminds me, I probably need to redo all my buy orders and my, my cred stash. Oh, that's always fun. Yeah, as soon as you get the AOE on the go, it doesn't help the target you're fighting, but for all the others, all the ads are just like, oh dear. <laughs> Fun time's over. Need to get the Shadowland Reflects on the go, need to get some pet buffs on the go. It's all going on. I think it's better. Pet classes is always a bit more to do, I think, somehow. wanted the one guy you had to make it all about you didn't you there you go well now you're dead you feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence Rakato um, what Rakato has reached enlightenment is that one of yours is that someone from the chat is that a hogger man who was saying they were very close No, not you. Okay, well, someone else dinged anyway. Right, let's hand in and see how many dings we get. Uh, I have the Sumphus horn for you. Let me give you a horn. Bling! I have Keck tunes. It'll be Roslyn, 40k out. End of Imp... <laughs> Imp new. Ooh! Right, goodbye on that, and... Do I have to restart chat? I think I do. Lid please, says Mihalik. He's entered at last. Uh, I've been to the swamps. I have returned with the claw and the thing. There we go. Another ding. Level 94. Thank you. I think that's all of these quests. It's just the one at the south and the what's it guy left. Right, okay. I'm in the wrong chat. So first off, where is it? Cancel void. Back to Rubicar.
Right, it is almost time to draw the grace. So good luck, everybody. The giveaway is an in-game grace. It is. No, f no fun. Will I get ganked today? Oh, we'll run a poll on the next stream then. Engi peekaboo, yeah. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. There we go, we're heading back to relog to a different tune. The tune that's carrying the graces. So now. It is time. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. MCM was drawn for the giveaway. <laughs> His following. <laughs> Congratulations. Is he even? Is he gone? But he's not in the chat. He was streaming before he came, so he might have just sort of done a raid and run. I don't know. Rigged. Yes. Let me have a look. Is he in the chat list? He is in the chat list. Are you there, MCM? Come in. <laughs> Fast asleep at his desk. Yeah, <laughs> the speed difference. Yeah. <laughs> MCM, where are you? You won the grace, reply plicks. <laughs> Migo Tak is now following. Thank you for the follow. You have won a grace, MCM. We woke him up. There we go. Tell us the name of the tune. I was AFK. I was going to joke that I was AFK for one minute and ask if I won. You did win. Scroll up on the chat. <laughs> you did. Right. What tune would you like your grace upon? Tune that's going to have to stand there and shift the creds later. Oh, look, how much are they going for these days? 150 billion. Court, happy birthday. Got to head out, though. Thank you, sir. Me money, yeah, exactly. Yeah, just any any tune you like, and then tell us the name of the tune and how much. Meme billions, please. Yeah, exactly. Rather a few billions, actually. <laughs> Too much creds in this game, there is, yeah. It's kind of ridiculous now. Yeah. Well, initially they were generated with like things like ingot farming and it, there was as well, I think there was some sort of exploit with um, the guild bank and, and commands and stuff, I don't really know, um, that generated, you know, the first billions, but yeah. And other people have run with it trying to break the game, but it just keeps coming, it just doesn't seem to break. So, hey, you failed. Too bad. Um, 
Yeah, it doesn't matter how you do it. What they try. They always like Terminator. What character are you on? I'm on uh, this one. Cal Cal. I remember early 2021 we were doing one prisoner of a oh, pyramid of home for one grace which was like 12 to 13 billion yeah you feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence rosin has reached an enlightenment r3 it's me oh jeez <laughs> i pick a tune with a name right how much are you putting a buy order in for How much? How much did you want to put your buy order in for? Running from Nason's frontier. Okay. Just jump off, dude. You go straight to Job. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine. Okay. Let's have a look. Order details. No, I will not sell for a hundred and fifty billion. God, you've got to scroll a long way down. 42, 42. Ah, someone watched the last stream. In ICC now. Okay. Get it done. Let me know when the order's placed. That was your Rosin. Gratz, tinkering idiot, aka PvP runner. I missed the Grace giveaway. I'm afraid so, sir. It's been running since, well, three hours ago. I do start them level seven, devoid of run speed. <laughs> All right, have you placed the order? That's like 13,000, yeah, 1,300 inflation in two years. Eh? It was crazy, literally Zimbabwe dollars. Yeah. <laughs> like Weimar Republic money. Yeah, yeah. Watching people pay for bread. The cartload of cash transferring ale money is about as convenient as that currently. <laughs> yeah, it kind of is. Creds to market. Okay. You could have picked a different tune. <laughs> I hope it was a good stream. It was very good. We got a bunch of levels on the little Engie. And he's got a Slayer now. So, yeah. Weasel, bless you. Thanks, Mouse. <laughs> Had a cold all over Christmas. Oh, that was fun. How's the turkey? Can't think. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Wednesday night in the middle, you know, kind of after the Christmas day, I was like, I was supposed to stream. I was just like, I could not stop sneezing. Get a heater in the sleigh. That's a good idea, Mouse. Good idea. Maybe I'll just set fire to one of the reindeer and stuff it in the back, you know. Oh, bad Santa. The only thing streaming was your nose. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Better food at the same time. Yeah. Oh, we, we eat well here. We eat well. We're in Wales, so food is fresh. Organically grown and nurtured. So, yeah, there should be an option, honestly, to turn your chicken into a slayer droid like a nano. Like, replace the miniaturization nano from Sheol with a reskin nano. Make all the other robots smaller by default. Yeah, but people want big, scary pets, don't they? So. And then they learn about the inconvenience of them. Right, have we got, have we got a buy order in? Yeah.
Right, so there we go. Is that you? Because there's like three people have seen that and copied it. So we got someone here called Reminder. And then there's you. 130. 99550697. Yeah, well, this is what people do, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. It's a lot of money. People attempted. Right, there's some 42s down here, and that's from the last giveaway. Discord to verify. I can see that that's you. If you say it's you in the stream chat, that'll do. <laughs> but you're not going to have the same unique number. That wasn't there before. 6969 was not there. So, Reminder. Nice try. <laughs> oh no, maybe it was, look. 22 hours, 47 minutes. Maybe it was there before. R13 something. Well, it, tell me exactly. You've got the tune there. Just copy your own name. <laughs> there you go. You ready? Poof. Poof. You has a grace. I have 55 to give away. There you go, you can sell that for many monies. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, your Lord Cal Cal, yes. This was the MA Trader build. Still playing it. Oh, Vulpu, really? Yeah, Vulpu donated all the graces, so all I do is just, you know, raffle them off for people. So, there we go. Right, is anyone else anarchy onlining? Yes, it's a new verb. Okay, there's me and Vixdon with one viewer saying Iron Man, question mark. So you should uh, loot them, sell them. Right, it's talking. Okay, we're going to go raid this dude. Oh no, that's a video. There we go. There we go, another AO streamer. He's currently in a re in a very pink room. Or maybe just that's how the room's lit, I don't know. What are you used to play? Uh, Omni or Clan? I... Uh, having a chat there. So, we go raid him. All aboard the raid train. Let him know there is an audience for Anarchy Online out there. <laughs> Ugh. Is that everyone that wants to go? Or are there more? Enjoy the rest of your birthday. The rest of my birthday is going to be Dad TV. A couple of couple of lagers, I think. A couple of chilled beers. That'll be nice. I just need to remember to go... Uh, do that. And then do... Give away... Reset. 24. There you go. Okay, we're going to go raid and say hi to Vin Dixon. Okay, folks. I'll leave it there. See you tomorrow for the Aliens event. And I'll just say bye for now. <laughs>